Hey everyone, we're back for another On Target, another one of the Around the Horns. Today we're going to talk about the craziest thing we've heard at an audit. And honestly, we're not going to narrow it down to the craziest because we could be here all day. Um, my favorite one I'm going to start off with was at a SIP 14 audit when I was asked, what if somebody makes that water tower fall into the substation? The water tower was maybe 100 feet tall and 400 feet from the perimeter of the substation. So I'm not good at math, but I kind of, when I was done scratching my head, said, I don't know gonna be amazed they got in and knocked down a water tower yeah but i don't know <laughs> brent i know you've got some good ones well uh, you know short of tornadic conditions i don't think yours is plausible nick um i will share uh one experience i had while uh, Wait, you can't use any of the ones that i said when i worked for you fair enough uh performing we were performing an audit it was cold uh, cold uh, early spring uh, time frame and uh, doing our typical walk downs uh, like we do through transmission substation, walking down the aisles, looking for things that I call dangling participles. And that just simply means disconnected cables uh, that you would, wouldn't expect to be there uh, or modems, looking for modems, blinky lights, stuff like that. And as we were walking down, uh, I looked to my right and noticed there was a rattlesnake coiled up on a relay. And so I slowly backed out of that aisle and asked the, uh, the, the entity personnel that were escorting us, said, uh, what's that doing here? And he's like, well, he's a security snake. And I thought that was one of the finest responses that I've seen <laughs> off the cuff. The security snakes uh, you know, prevent people from reaching in there and unplugging things. So it works from a TCA RM uh, pr perspective. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was definitely a, a good security posture in my opinion. Did that snake complete its uh, SIP training that year? Yeah, what was the PRA status there? He had he had both PRA and training, so yeah, he was qualified to be in uh, unescorted in the facility. That's amazing. I'll, I'll go next. Um, there's a lot of there's I think a lot of examples. Uh, another one on snakes. I mean, we talk about wildlife all the time. We had one audit where the uh, backup control center was below ground, and apparently it was common to have snakes come through the drop ceiling from up above. Um, we're not entirely sure that that was you know, reality or not, but it was a great story. Um, so, you know, tagging on to the security snakes uh, side of things, snakes on a sub, should we go with that? <laughs> snakes on a sub. No, I remember, on that one, I remember, I'm wondering, is this real or is this a get the auditors out of here right. situation? Right, right. Either way, That's I wasn't good. sticking around. Yep. Effective. Oh man, it might be time for another direct connect with, with audit stories and we need to expand beyond just Brian and I. Yeah, so, yeah, we need, we need to talk about that labeling on cable, you know, remove for SIP audit. That's a, that's a real thing. There were a couple versions of that. Yeah. That's, one, yeah. that's one that goes on in legend, but it's, we've seen or the it. one with the, the fake network diagram. Yep. <laughs> All of that. There's, there's some doozies, so maybe, maybe anyway, it's about time for that. Anyway. It's probably time for one of those, but we're going to keep it on target right now. So thanks for joining. See you guys next time. See ya. Stay up to date on all the videos we release here at Archer by clicking on the subscribe button. Click on the bell to be notified right away when we release new videos. Secure your company with Archer today. Visit us at archerint.com and reach out with an email or a phone call. Is there a topic or question you'd like for us to answer? If so, leave it in the comments below and tune in each Monday for a brand new episode of On Target with Archer.